All right, Nas Mas OSR. Got another old school rotary talk. And what we have here are the side housings. And we're gonna start with the 1971 R100 10A. We got the 1973 RX2 12A Dizzy. And we got the 1974 Asta RX4 13B code 3B on there. So first things first, we got the water pump gallery. So you guys can see the 10A is very similar to the 12A. They're a little sat slanted. They're on the side. And these are some of the side houses that we just don't happen to see anymore. Uh, a lot of uh, rotary guys out there are probably more used to seeing uh, something like this, where the water pump's more like in the center. Um, you don't see them anymore on the side. Mazda, after 74, just decided to make it standard. They keep them right in the middle here. So obviously the water pump, it's not interchangeable when it comes from 73, 73 to 74, because uh, of different locations and the uh, front cover, front timing cover. Uh, it just won't sit right on either or so that's that's pretty much some of the real obvious stuff So when it comes to the 10a and 12a, it's very similar interchangeable They both sit on the side so you could just go ahead and swap these together um, Some of the other obvious stuff is like the casting um, the 13b It's more square Obviously the water pump location uh, the alternator uh, where it sits so the casting is uh, obviously different it did change the casting on the RX2 uh, 12A is a little more rounded um, very similar to the 10A uh, the 10A is even more rounded this one's very rounded right here on top and that's one way you could uh, tell if uh, if someone's actually running 10A side housings or 12A RX2 side housings. They're interchangeable, but you could see some of uh, the giveaways, which is right here. See how this one just drops? And this one has like more of a, like a smooth drop to it. And this one doesn't, it's like, it's got a little sharp edge here. Where the alternator sits, this one seems to have like a little rounded uh, lip on here, whereas the 12A does not. Here now, looking at the back side on the where the alternator sits, uh, this is another giveaway as well. The 10A has like a rounded, uh, rounded um, gear on here. It's pretty rounded, and on 12A, it's squared. So I didn't catch that in the front, but you could see it from the back definitely. So that's another giveaway if someone's running an actual full 10A or it just got some parts from a 12A. So that's another giveaway. So next I want to move on to uh, the tensioner. The, this is the oil pump uh, chain tensioner, right where the sprocket sits and it's something like this. So Mazda did keep this and 71, 72, 73, up to like 74. And this sits here. And, and you have this spring. And you have like this little shoe right here. That's it's like a little shoe and it's and it, it just holds the chain in place. It keeps it from having too much slack. So you'll see it on the 10A. 10A came with it. You'll see it on the 12A here. So we also came with it. And even the 13B came with it, as you can see right here. Now, Mazda got rid of this after like 74. Or, yeah, after 74, they got they got rid of it. They figured like, hey, you know what? We really don't need a tensioner to hold that chain. So um, you guys are working on one of these uh, old school engines, where there's a 10A, 12A, you really don't need it. I um, mean, you don't need the extra weight and then these do wear out. Uh, last thing you want is these things uh, maybe breaking or cracking on you and you know having to you know tear the engine down again just because of this so it doesn't really need it but 
Um, yeah, they did come with these from the very beginning. All right, next front cover bolts. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through them and they do change between the 12A and 13B. So if we take a look at the amount of bolts this one has, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's on the 10A. Now the 12A scout, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like the 10A. So the 10A front cover is interchangeable with the 12A twin distributor front cover. Now when it comes to the 13B and 74, Mazda did change it because now it's not working with the dual distributors anymore. It's working with the single. So you have one, two, three, and this one's missing. So Mazda got rid of this bolt here and 74 on the 13B bolts. Now we have one, two, three, that one's missing, four, five, six, and seven. So Mazda added an extra bolt here. So this bolt's missing on the 13B and this bolt is added on the 13B. So they pretty much took this one out and put it down here on the 13B. So that's not to say they're not interchangeable. Um, you could go ahead and use the 13B front cover on a 12A twin DZ and on a 10A. All you have to do is just use whatever bolt patterns on here to the 12A or 10A. That's if you want to go with the single distributor, electronic single distributor. Um, you don't have to deal with the dual distributor and trailing and leading and, and all that wiring and stuff. You could just go with a simple single distributor, distributor electronically. So all you have to do is just obviously uh, just uh, put some silicone on this one, cover it up, and not just and and not deal with the bolt that comes over here on the front timing cover, on the later front timing cover. So you just pretty much just put some extra silicone here and here, and problem solved. You have no issues. You have a single distributor with electronic boxes. So next, we're moving to uh, the oil gallery. Oil gallery did stay pretty standard throughout the years. Uh, it seemed to work for Mazda. So they just uh, never really changed it. The casting does change a bit. Um, some differences that we do see between the 10A and the 12A are this uh, this bolt right here. So this is pretty neat. I wish Mazda would have kept it. It just makes it a lot easier to clean out your galleries instead of having a like tap here on the side and you know having to drill a hole and having to plug it again. Uh, they made it really easy back then. It has this this plug right here, just loosen it up and you know, everything shoots out and it just clean. It make, just makes it a lot easier. But uh, they just, for some reason, they just decided not to do that with the rest of the engines after 73. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is still the same, same pattern. It just, um, the casting is just a bit different, but same idea. Goes in here, shoots through there and it goes down here. And so I just wanted to show you guys just that up. Uh, they did keep the same same pattern, same idea throughout the whole years. Seen to work, still works. So I guess they figured there's no way to, there's no reason to change it up, so. All right, next uh, we have the intake runners. And they're all pretty much the same size in diameter. Nothing much changed throughout the years. Um, it did, as you're prior uh, reporting, but they're all about five and seven eighths in height so they're all measuring pretty much the same five and seven eighths from the bottom and down here and like I said and then like the diameter they're all the same so so nothing changed much between these three um, even the, the boat pattern here I got an old school uh, 13b uh, intake here and the boat pattern still the same they all work the same. This is 
same intake works on this one and it'll also work obviously on 13b so intake runners didn't change at all they all have the same patterns so next we're moving on to the bolt patterns uh, all three have the same amount of uh, bolt holes and they're they're 19 on every single one of them uh, the 10a and the 12a are the same so therefore rotor housings you can swap them uh, the pattern on the bolts the distance between the bolts are the same between the 10a and the 12a uh, they both have the thermal hole on the same spot so yeah they're interchangeable um, you could use 12a side housings with 10a and vice versa so they're interchangeable so that's the good thing about these old school older uh, uh, side housings now when it comes to the 13b even though it's the same amount of bolts the number of bolts as the 12 and the 10a this one bolt here changes the distance between this bolt here is very different than this one here so this one here is about two inches this one's less it sits a lot closer to this one and, and it's pretty obvious you could see the, the distance between them and the distance between here also changes this pocket's a lot uh, smaller than this pocket here so unfortunately yeah you can't they're not interchangeable um that wouldn't even bother trying to make it work you would have to plug this hole seal it and it's just it's not even worth it so yeah they're not interchangeable another thing too this one does have the thermal pocket here but it's not round like this one or the 10 maybe. so fortunately yeah they're not interchangeable so this one stands on its own and along with the later uh 12a and 13b uh engines <laughs> 